What would you do if all the women in the world wanted to marry you? This man was being chased by many brides. Their numbers were too many to count. He runs away frantically, and the brides behind him keep chasing him. He runs to the other side, only to be met by other brides. Soon the traffic is backed up, and the police car is stuck in the middle of them. The man doesn't know what to do. What is it about him that makes all these women want to marry him? Jack is a bachelor. His parents died when he was a child. He was raised by his grandfather, which has led to his wild personality. He's had a lot of girlfriends, and he's loved many different kinds of women. But every time he talked about marriage, Jack would find a reason to break up. This time was no exception. But as soon as he broke up, he hooked up with Anna next to him. They fell in love at first sight, and their relationship quickly grew. One day they came to the wedding, but soon there was a problem. Because the town has a rule that when a couple gets married, the bride has to throw the bouquet to the unmarried girl on the spot. The one who receives the bouquet must get married and pass on the happiness. At this point, the men were sweating nervously because it's not happiness for them at all. It's bondage. Soon all of Jack's friends were getting married. One day a new wedding started, which meant the bride had to throw the bouquet again. And Anna got it. This scared Jack. He ran home in a mess. Grandpa said he was old enough to get married. He said he wanted to have a grandchild so much that he even had a ring ready for the proposal. Jack had to compromise. He brought Anna to the restaurant in the evening to propose. But Jack was so nervous that he couldn't say a single sweet word at the moment. And angry, Anna rejected him outright. Soon the news of Jack's failed proposal spread through the town, and his angry grandfather died soon after. Jack was approached by a lawyer at the funeral. He said Jack's grandfather was a rich man who left Jack an inheritance of $10 billion. The man suddenly learns that he's going to inherit $10 billion. He's very happy. His grandfather was a famous insurance tycoon. After he made his money, he went into hiding and settled in a small town. And Jack is his grandfather's only heir. But in order to inherit the money, Jack has to fulfill his two wishes. The first was that Jack had to get married before he turned 30 and the second was that he had to have a baby within two years. If one of them can't be fulfilled, then the money will be donated to charity. After hearing this news, Jack was very panicked. He was going to celebrate his 30th birthday in two days, and he just had a fight with his girlfriend. He got dressed and went to find her. He knocked on the door for a long time, but it was her friend who opened the door. She told him that Anna was so upset by the proposal that she was going on a trip to relax and had just left. Jack rushed to catch up with her. He drove to the airport and finally saw his girlfriend. When he saw Anna, he got down on his knees and proposed. She asked him if he really meant it this time. And then Jack's mind wandered back to the scene of the horses running. He hesitated again and angry Anna left immediately and said she wanted to break up with him. Jack was helpless as he watched his girlfriend leave. But faced with the temptation of $10 billion, he wouldn't give up. After he failed to propose to his girlfriend, his friends came up with a plan for him. They were going to select a marriage partner from Jack's over 100 ex-girlfriends. The first girl was a stockbroker. Jack covered her mouth and handed her a diamond ring. She responded with a ring of her own. The second girl was a playwright, who was also a playgirl and didn't remember who Jack was. Jack was very embarrassed. He found a third girl, who was a shopping mall shopper. Jack just said what he wanted, and his ex-girlfriend immediately agreed. But then Jack saw Anna. He rushed out, only to realize that he had mistaken her for someone else. When he came back, he found that his ex-girlfriend was so excited that she directly set the model on fire. Such a move scared Jack. He's been busy all day. His car is smoking, but he hasn't found a girlfriend who's suitable for marriage. Disappointed, Jack fell asleep in the church. When his friend came up with a great idea, a single billionaire is looking for a bride, and the news is quickly spreading. This is his friend's plan. Jack's personal details were published in the newspaper. The town was abuzz with the news. The woman fixing the car put down her wrench and the woman on a date lost interest in the man in front of her. Married women took out their wedding dresses. In no time, the streets were filled with women in wedding dresses. They had only one goal, to run to the church. When Jack woke up again, he was shocked by the scene in front of him. Knowing Jack's status as a rich man, the women started to argue with each other. They all want Jack. Seeing the situation, his friend rushed out to say that the news is fake and is just a farce. But the brides were furious when they heard the news. They all said they had to get married today. Jack ran out and grabbed his friend to beat him. At that moment, his friend told Jack that Anna still couldn't let go of him, and she was on her way back. When Jack got the news, he was ready to go to Anna immediately. But then the brides surrounded him, and he ran away, but there were too many brides. He ran like crazy, and they kept chasing him. Jack stopped a cab just in time. When he sees Anna, Jack proposes again, but this time Anna refused, because she had seen Jack's advertisement in newspaper. She was saddened to learn that Jack was only marrying her for the sake of his inheritance. Jack, the love master, 
comforted her with sweet words. This makes Anna very happy and she agrees to his proposal. In order to catch up with the last minute, Anna changed into her wedding dress in the toilet. But as soon as she came out, she was shocked by what she saw. The bride spotted Jack again and they chased him. Jack tried his best to escape. Eventually, he had nowhere to go but up the ladder. Looking at the brides on the floor, he searched for Anna. With the help of his friends, he picked Anna up. The priest rushed to read their wedding vows in the police car. Seeing that his marriage was a success, the brides felt that they had failed and they could only wish them well. Jack sincerely apologized to them and told the people that he only loved Anna. The people who knew the truth gave a blessed applause. Finally, Anna threw down the bouquet of love and the happiness will be passed on to the next person.